Hey, welcome back to the Cube After Dark. Come on in the Cube After Dark. We're going wall to wall coverage here at RSAC 2024. My name is Dave Vellante. We love doing these meetups. We're here with NYSE. The Cube is co sponsoring with Elastic, Intel, Intel Capital, and Open Policy. Really excited to have Anand Kashyap here. He is the CEO and co founder of Fortanix. Good to see you, Matt. Thanks for coming to the Cube. Thanks for having me. Why did you start the company, Fortanix? You know, uh, I used to work at Fortanix, uh, sorry, I used to work at Symantec, and uh, Symantec was a leading security company at that time. And um, what I saw that uh, we were fighting a war against the bad guys who were always winning. And the prevailing attitude was, can we, uh, can we raise the bar? It was not about, you know, can we stop the cyber attacks altogether? And I looked at it and thought, can we do something better? There were new technological advances happening at that time. There was hardware-based security that was coming out. And hardware, as you know, is more immutable than software. So if you could use hardware to secure software in the cloud, then it would be much more powerful. And that was the insight where we started using hardware to secure data in the cloud. Okay, so you're, you're all about securing data, but your hardware uh, first, Fortanix, Fort, like strong, Yes. right? Tell me about the name, how'd you come up with the name? As you said, it's Fort-like security. <laughs> there were a lot of security companies which end with NIX or Annex, Nutanix is a good name. Yeah, yeah. And we said, you know, Fort-like security, so That's let's use great. Fortanix. Love it. So tell me about your product. So we are a data security company. Our product is called Data Security Manager. And what it does is it protects data using encryption, key management, and all of that is built you on top of a confidential computing technology. Confidential computing is when you use hardware to create a trusted execution environment, and all the data and the software runs inside that, that environment. And that is what we have been doing. So it's an appliance, a virtual appliance? What is it? We are both, uh, and we have a SaaS as well. We have an appliance, and we are selling into regulated env environments where you need to get a certain level of certification. So we have FIPS 140-2 level 3. You can only get that through an appliance. But then we also have a virtual appliance version. We also have a SaaS version where we take our appliance, deploy it across 18 data centers around the world. And uh, that, that is how we have created our SaaS. So your SaaS version is what? Software-defined Fortanix? Is that what it is? Or? Uh, you can say that, yeah. But, but I don't have to install anything. You don't have SaaS. to install anything. You sign up, you get an API key, you start encrypting your data right away. And, and where does... Where does the, the, the code and the system live? Is it in the cloud? I can put it on-prem as well? With you can. So appliance you can buy, you can run it in your own data centers, in your own environment. SaaS is running on our appliance, but in data centers around the world. So think of it like a cloud, pure play cloud. You just sign up and start using it. When did you start the company? 2016. 2016? Yes. Wow, so you're dealing with a very challenging technical problem. Yeah. Building on top of confidential computing, which was just kind of emerging as a category at the time. Um, so, w what was the technical challenge of getting your product to market? You know, the funny thing is, when we started, the term confidential computing didn't even exist. Right. Yeah, exactly. We used to describe it as, you know, we secure data at rest, data in motion, and now we are securing data in use. Later on, the industry standardized the word or the phrase confidential computing, and now everybody knows what it is. But the challenge initially was availability. It was hardly available. Only Intel was the only chip which had confidential computing, and Microsoft Azure was the first cloud to have it. But over time, it has improved. There's more availability across different chip vendors, more on different cloud as well. So now it's much easier to go and deploy something in confidential computing. Yeah, I mean, all the cloud vendors have it. Yeah. Right? Intel has it. ARM, obviously, is announced. Um, so, okay, so where are you in your cycle? Are you scaling? We are in scale mode. Yeah, we have raised multiple rounds of funding. We did a Series C a couple of years ago. And right now we are at a stage where we are scaling, we are developing the business while we are developing the product as well. We are looking at some major industry trends like post-quantum computing, post-quantum cryptography. That's one of our focus areas. The other focus area for us is AI, just like everyone, you know, AI is a big trend and confidential computing has the potential to really, really create secure AI and we're looking at that as well. How much money did you raise? We raised, uh, so far we have raised $120 million 
and uh, the last round was $90 million. That, and what was that, Series? Series C. Series C. Yeah. Okay, so you're there, you got product market fit. Yeah. You're scaling go to market. Tell me about some customers. What's what's like the typical customer for you? Is it a is it an enterprise? Is it a, a, a somebody in between? The, the, the a, a service provider? Our focus is on enterprise, mm -hmm. uh, and we generally sell into three major categories of uh, customers: financial services, large banks. A lot of large banks are our customers. Healthcare is the other one. And then the third is uh, public sector government. As you can see, all these three sectors value their data a lot. So whenever data sensitivity, data security is very important, we are applicable over there. So they have data, a lot of data on-prem, they have data in the cloud. Yeah. How are they deploying your solutions? Is it is it a mix? Do they mostly do it in the cloud? Do they mostly do it on-prem? You know, one of our customers uh, said, you know, we, with Fortanix, they want to encrypt anywhere, decrypt anywhere. So it doesn't matter where data goes, on-prem, cloud, SaaS, they want to be able to use Botanix, encrypt their data wherever they want, wherever they can, decrypt wherever. So with our product, since it's available on-prem, it's available as SaaS, it's available as a virtual appliance, you can really encrypt your data wherever you want, decrypt wherever you want. And what's your AI play? Is it a, is it a situation where now AI has expanded the, the, the threat surface and created new attack vectors that you can protect? Explain that. So I think what you're describing is uh, using AI to improve security tools. What we are doing is the opposite of that. We are building security for AI, not AI for security, which means we are securing the AI deployment itself. Enterprises are very concerned about their data leaking their environment, go, going to OpenAI, going to Microsoft, going to Google, and they don't really trust all these external parties. They want to make sure that even if the data gets used by external services, external places, they are still in control of the data, they can manage the security and privacy of their data. So we are building security for AI. What's unique about securing AI that is new that people should know about? What's different? There's a combination of things. There's not one single thing, but having a confidential computing-based platform on which AI runs, that itself gives it confidentiality, it gives it tamper proof or integrity protection and then on top of that there has to be a control and policy layer that goes on top. Then you can get interesting enterprise features like role based access control, you can get uh, uh, data loss pre 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 prevention, things like that. So a combination of the control layer and the bottom confidential computing layer makes it more easy. We've talked a lot about confidential computing but yes. we really haven't explained what it is maybe for those that don't know what it is. We, essentially you're talking about fencing off access to yeah. certain components from anything that shouldn't have access, including the cloud vendor, including the, the, the virtual machines, anything, explain. Yeah, to me, confidential computing is very simple. It provides two basic security primitives. It gives you confidentiality or privacy, anything that runs inside that trusted execution environment which forms the confidential computing is private. Nobody can look at it. Your root user cannot look at it, your cloud provider cannot use it, look at it, your service provider cannot look into it. That's important. The second important security primitive that confidential computing provides is integrity protection. Now, if somebody tries to modify this, the code that is running inside the trusted execution environment, you can, you can detect that. There is attestation. You can sit outside and see, using remote attestation, you can figure out, oh, the code has been modified. It's not the right code. You can't use it anymore. And that is a very strong primitive. The combination of confidentiality and integrity makes it so unique and very interesting. Excellent. Thank you for that. What are your top priorities in the next 12 months? What should we be watching for in terms of indicators of you guys executing? So at RSA, we just announced a new product that we call Key Insight. Key Insight has the capability to go in the cloud, scan for keys, encryption keys, scan for all the services that are there in the cloud and see how they are using those keys. So now you have an inventory of how the encryption is being used inside your cloud environment. This is very powerful. A CISO wants to know what's going on and they want to use it for getting ready for post-quantum world. When PQC algorithms need to be deployed as the quantum computers come and they break traditional cryptography. So we're very excited about that. In, in this RSA, we are, we are demonstrating that in our booth. 
It's quite a show, isn't it? It RSA? is, absolutely. Have you been to a number of them? Yeah, I've been yeah. coming here many years. Yeah, 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 of course, with your background in semantic. <laughs> yes. But uh, thanks so much for coming to the Cube. Sure. Appreciate it. Good thank luck with much. everything. All right. All right. And thank you for watching. Keep it right there. This is Dave Vellante, and we're here at Lamar, part of RSAC. We're here with the NYSE and some of our other partners. Keep it right there. More action from the Cube after dark. We'll be right back.